So here's the first tremolo exercise. So you're gonna go thumb on the first string, ring finger, middle finger, index finger. All on that first string. And as you do this, you wanna make sure that your, your notes are sounding as even as possible. Try and relax the hand, and then gradually speed up. One good way of practicing it is by doing it double time. So go through it slowly, one and two, and then double time. So you can do what are called little speed bursts. And gradually you can increase the number of the faster ones. And I would also recommend just trying to play as fast as you can. Even if it's a little messy. And then go back to slow practice. Alright, the second example, we're gonna you can just take a chord. I'm gonna do an E minor chord. Although I'm only gonna hit the fourth string. I'm not gonna hit the fifth or sixth. But you're gonna do the bass line, the thumb part, on the fourth string, and then ring middle index. And then I'll go to the third string with my thumb, back up to the second string, back to the third. And just repeat, so you're gonna go like this. You can do it with any chord, like a C chord. Back to the E minor chord. Um, and again, I would practice the same thing, do speed bursts. So, so try it slowly, and then try it faster. And then also try it as fast as you can. Even if it's a little messy, but you want to focus on trying to keep the hand relaxed as much as possible. Here's a tremolo pattern that I like to practice a lot. One of the hard things to do is get a nice even sound rhythmically with all of the notes. Often you get this sort of where each note isn't in the correct rhythm. So one way to practice this is to go slowly and do rest stroke on the middle finger. That would be like if you're counting one E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. So that and should line up right in the middle of that beat. Here's a little exercise you can use to practice that. Just E minor chord, and I'm gonna go thumb on the fourth string, rest stroke, thumb on the third string, rest stroke, thumb on the second string, rest stroke, third string, rest stroke. So slowly it's going to go like this. So you're not going to want to play that when you do your tremolo at the normal tempo, but it's a good way of practicing it slowly. To really focus on the evenness between the notes. Here's another tremolo exercise I like to practice. And we already did something similar with one of the earlier ones where you do it all on the first string. But what I would do is, is do that same thing except play a scale. So maybe like a C major scale, which goes. But practice that with tremolo in the right hand. Here it is slowly. <laughs> <laughs> 